Hey guys, Bill here. You know, the ocean is filled up with all sorts of strange creatures. I mean, we all know that. But just the other day, Bill's channel viewer Sam O'Neill sent me a video clip of something I've never seen or heard of before. It was first posted on the Newsflare website and claimed to show a group of divers swimming with a translucent, worm-like creature off the coast of Takao Island in the Philippines. Now what Sam wants to know, and maybe you've already guessed, is, is this picture real? Or is it just another ocean-going hoax? Why don't we just dive in and see what we can find out? The video is 41 seconds long and shows three divers, plus the one with the camera, just treading water around this strange-looking tube. The divers hang around for a while looking at it, then there's a dissolve to another shot of it where it mysteriously changes color. I didn't find any mention of this on Snopes.com or any of my other myth-busting websites, but I did drill down on the description that was posted with the video. It said, we encountered this translucent worm in the Philippines off Takao Island. Not even the dive master had seen one before, but we later identified it as a colony of tiny animals called tunicates. When they join together like this, they're called a pyrosome. Oh, a pyrosome, oh yeah. What the heck is a pyrosome? Turns out there really is a sea creature called the pyrosome. It's rarely seen, but there are a few photos around. Some people refer to it as the corncob jellyfish. I'm gonna be honest with you, I couldn't really make sense out of the scientific description of this mysterious life form, but I did find the same video posted on YouTube. But in this case, it was called diving with squid egg mass. Okay, what the heck is going on here? First they say it's a pyrosome, then they say it's squid eggs. I mean, are you starting to smell hoax? Because I am. The YouTube channel that posted the video belonged to a guy named Ryan Carpenter. Ryan makes it clear in the description that he is the man who recorded the video. So on a hunch, I decided to get in touch with Ryan and see if he was for real. Are you really Ryan Carpenter? I, I promise I'm the real Ryan Carpenter, cross my heart. And this is a real video. Ryan wasn't willing to show me any definitive identification, but he does have a pretty well-established Google Plus account, so I'm willing to take his word for it. So we were uh, lucky enough to go on vacation to the Philippines uh, a couple weeks ago. We did some diving with whale sharks the first day, and we did, went for a scuba dive the second day. But uh, this time we saw a creature that we'd never seen before. It looked a little different than anything uh, I'd even seen in pictures. Uh, it was floating through the water. It uh, first looked sort of like a, a jellyfish, but all we wanted to do was just get some photos and, and make sure we could capture uh, the experience of swimming with it there. Now what Ryan was telling me sounded pretty legit and he was a very cooperative guy. So I asked him if he wouldn't mind spending a few more minutes to help me clear up a couple more issues. It's kind of off by itself and it has this kind of, you know, that weird shadowy effect you get from Photoshop. I mean, how would you explain that? The fact that we stumbled upon it out of nowhere meant that we had to draw the, the group of scuba divers back in to, to take a look at it. Uh, so that I, that's why we weren't looking straight at it at the initial spot. As for the Photoshop, it, it honestly looked pretty unreal in, in when we were sitting right in front of it. It's uh, certainly a unique experience having that kind of uh, glowing coming out of a, a creature in front of you. Now, the other thing that made me suspicious about the video was the fact that the creature changes colors. It's, it's kind of blue, and then there's a shot from lower, and then all of a sudden it becomes kind of pinkish looking. So what's actually on YouTube is two clips that were maybe 30 seconds apart. Uh, during that time, the, the thing started floating up closer to the surface. And so by the time I took the second shot, the light was definitely hitting it at a different angle. I was a little bit lower, not wanting to uh, surface too quickly. The last thing I wanted to know was why the description of the creature changed over time. That's the nice thing about the internet. I, when I had no idea what I was looking at, on the vacation, we uploaded it to YouTube and started asking people what they see. Uh, at first, I just got a few sort of lay people who've, who've gone diving before, described it similar to a pyrosome. And, and certainly when you look at the photos 
uh, after you do a Google search for that, it, it does look similar. Uh, eventually, more and more people looked at it and we get PhD candidates who are studying marine biology looking at the film and they uh, correctly identify it, it seems, as a, a, an egg mass from a squid, which is also apparently reasonably rare, but a uh, uh, slightly different thing, obviously. Okay, so I guess it's about time we make a decision on this video, but first, let's go over what we've learned so far. Ryan Carpenter is the man who shot the video. There are known creatures that look like what he recorded, the creature changed color because it changed depth, and he changed the description as he learned more about the creature. Okay, now based on all the evidence that I've been able to pull together so far, my secret panel of judges have come up with a decision. And their decision is, wait for it, the video recorded by Ryan Carpenter in the Philippines of a strange underwater creature is as real as it gets. Thank you, Jay-Z, for those lyrics. And that, my friends, brings me to the question of the day. Did Ryan Carpenter convince you that his video was real? Or do you think there's still some kind of hoax going on? And if so, why? Let me know what your opinion is in the comments section below, and I'll see you next time.